Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In this video, we will talk about Canada preparing to unveil suite of measures to clamp down on uncapped programs for immigration. Report, no temporary uncap for immigration. As we navigate through 2024, the landscape of immigration policies and visa regulations in Canada remains a focal point for many prospective immigrants. The Canadian government has recently announced that there will be no temporary uncap on immigration numbers this year. This decision impacts various visa categories and may influence your plans if you're considering moving to Canada in this update. We'll delve into what this means for you, exploring the implications and providing guidance on how to best prepare for any changes. If you are interested in this topic, so, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for an upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. If you any query please contact us on Instagram and Gmail. Canada wants to reduce temporary residents to 5% of the total population over the next three years from 6.2% in 2023. That would be a cut of about 20% from Canada's 2.5 million temporary residents in 2023. The Canadian government is preparing to unveil a suite of measures to clamp down on temporary immigration and has no plans to follow through right now on a broad program offering status to undocumented residents, Reuters reported. The era of uncapped programs to come into this country is quickly coming to an end. This is a big shift. You can't just slam on the brakes and expect it to stop immediately, the report quoted Mark Miller, the country's immigration minister. Canada has seen a dramatic increase in the influx of new residents, especially temporary ones, as many employers struggled to fill vacancies coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, immigrants are being blamed for a worsening housing situation along with an affordability crisis in the country. Critics have accused the federal government of bringing in too many people. Canadians want a system that makes sense. And they want one that still has a lot of welcoming aspects we've been proud of. But it's got to make sense, Miller said. In January, the Canadian government announced a two-year cap on international students, an area of Canada's immigration system that got overheated and was not meant to be a backdoor entry into Canada. In March, the immigration minister announced Canada's first-ever cap on temporary immigration. Canada wants to reduce temporary residents to 5% of the total population over the next three years from 6.2% in 2023. That would be a cut of about 20% from Canada's 2.5 million temporary residents in 2023. However, in its recent monetary policy report, the Bank of Canada expressed doubts that the government could meet its temporary residence goal, noting that non-permanent residents made up 6.8% of the country's population as of April and that the share is expected to continue rising over the near term. Canada is seeing record levels of refugee claims, more than 18,000 in June, according to the Immigration and Refugee Board despite efforts to deter people by closing the land border to asylum seekers through a contested bilateral agreement with the United States and by implementing new visa requirements for Mexicans. Less jobs for immigrants. Meanwhile, immigrants who move to Canada eyeing a better life are grappling with the worst job crisis in a decade. The unemployment rate for recent immigrants in the last five years was 12.6% in June, the worst in 10 years. Indians, being the largest aspirants to get permanent residency in Canada, are likely to be the worst hit. The unemployment rate of 12.6% is 4 percentage points lower than 2023, according to Statistics Canada. In 2023, out of the 471,810 new permanent residents, Indians were 139,785 or nearly 30 percent. Since 2019, according to data from Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, of the new permanent residents, 1,841,250, Indians were 514,435 in number. There were 1.4 million unemployed people in June 2024, an increase of 42,000, plus 3.1%, from the previous month, Statistics Canada revealed in a recent report. In a significant development for those navigating the Canadian immigration landscape, Immigration Minister Mark Miller recently shed light on the future of Canada's immigration policies during an interview with Reuters. According to Miller, the era of temporary uncapped immigration programs is rapidly coming to an end. This announcement signals a major shift in Canada's approach to managing both temporary and permanent visa applications as the Canadian government moves forward. Understanding these changes is crucial for anyone considering immigration to Canada. The shift, 
The Canadian immigration system has long been characterized by periods of rapid change and adjustment in recent years, temporary uncapped immigration programs allowed for a more flexible approach, accommodating a higher volume of applications without stringent limits. However, as Minister Miller pointed out, this era is drawing to a close the move away from temporary uncapped programs indicates a shift towards a more controlled and regulated system. The immediate implications of this change are multifaceted for prospective immigrants, this means that visa categories, whether temporary work permits, study visas, or permanent residency applications, will now be subject to more stringent caps and regulations. The goal is to bring a sense of order and predictability to the immigration process, which has faced criticism for being overly chaotic and unpredictable. Impact on Visa Categories Temporary visas, the introduction of caps on temporary visas could lead to increased competition among applicants. This change aims to manage the flow of individuals entering Canada on temporary bases, such as work permits or study visas. For those currently in the application process or planning to apply, it's essential to be aware of these new limitations and prepare accordingly ensuring that applications are complete, well documented, and submitted promptly will be crucial in this competitive environment. Permanent Residency The shift towards capping permanent residency applications also represents a significant change. The Canadian government will now impose limits on the number of individuals who can apply for and be granted permanent residency each year this could affect those who are seeking to make Canada their long-term home and may result in longer wait times and a more rigorous application process. Study visas, students looking to study in Canada will also face changes under this new policy with the introduction of CAPS. Prospective international students will need to navigate a more regulated system Students should stay informed about the new regulations and deadlines to avoid any potential disruptions to their educational plans. Potential Challenges and Disruptions The transition to a more controlled immigration system is not without its challenges as Minister Miller highlighted. There is a natural time lag associated with implementing such significant changes. This shift may lead to initial disruptions, including backlogs in processing applications and increased refusal rates These disruptions could affect both current applicants and those considering applying shortly. The Canadian government is aware of these potential issues and is working towards mitigating them However, the transition period may be challenging, and applicants should be prepared for possible delays and adjustments in processing times. The path forward for those impacted by these changes, it's important to stay informed and proactive regularly checking updates from official Canadian immigration sources and consulting with immigration experts can provide valuable guidance Additionally, understanding the new limits and requirements for various visa categories will help applicants navigate the system more effectively. The overarching goal of these changes is to create a more controlled and manageable immigration system by implementing caps and regulations. The Canadian government aims to prevent the system from becoming overwhelmed and to ensure that immigration remains manageable and fair for all applicants. Conclusion Canada's immigration policies are undergoing a significant transformation with the end of temporary uncapped programs This shift towards a more regulated system will impact temporary and permanent visa categories, as well as study visas While the transition may bring about some initial challenges, staying informed and prepared will be key to successfully navigating these changes. For those currently in the process or considering applying, it's crucial to understand the new regulations and to approach the application process with diligence and foresight by doing so. Applicants can better position themselves in this evolving immigration landscape and work towards achieving their goals in Canada. Understanding the latest developments in Canadian immigration policies is crucial for anyone planning to move or extend their stay in Canada with no temporary uncap for 2024. It's important to stay informed and prepared for the application process Keep an eye on official updates and consult with immigration experts to navigate these changes effectively As always, thorough preparation and timely action will be key to achieving your immigration goals. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next video. Till then, take care.